All right, this is a video that's going to help um, kind of guide the way on being able to find a cum to find data values in given a certain percentile in the data. All right, so we have this distribution or frequency distribution here, which is showing us that you know between these categories we have this frequency um, of those data values showing up. We don't know we don't know, for example, like you know 6,200 we don't know but what we're going to be able to do is, is identify if I'm at the 25th percentile how much is below that location based upon this table alright so let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to use guided solution to kind of walk us through that way I can just do one example and the process continues down through so here we go alright to start us off here what we have to do is they're asking us to interpret some information so we have to first of all understand a cumulative frequency so here our cumulative frequency well we're at seven because we've only gone seven now we've gone seven plus nine more so now we're at sixteen so now we've gone um, seven plus nine that's sixteen sixteen plus eighteen that's thirty four 34 plus 24 is 58. 58 plus 18 is going to be 76. 76 plus 10 is going to be 86. And 86 plus 6 is going to be 92. Then we can check ourselves and see that, you know, in that case right there, all of our solutions are green, which means that we have entered our answers correctly. Step number two, it says to find the cumulative percentages, use the following formula and place them in column D. All right, so what they're showing here is they're saying, okay, well, our, our total percentage that we have right now, our cumulative frequency is 92. So what we're going to do is we're trying to find percentages out of that 92. So here, if I have 7 out of 92, so I take 7, I divide it by 92. I multiply that by 100 and I come out with and you'll notice right here it says round your answer to the nearest whole number so I come out with 7.6 on my calculator so I'll go ahead and put an 8 I go to the next one I take my 16 so I 16 divided by 92 multiply by 100 so I get 17.39 so I hit 17 next one 34 34 divided by 92 times 100 and I get 36.95 so I'm gonna go to 40 on that one next one is 58 divided by 92 times 100 so I get 63 uh, the next one 76 divided by 92 times 100 and that's going to be 83. 86 divided by 92 times 100. And that's going to be 93. And the last one, 92 divided by 92 times 100 equals 100%. So at that point right there, we've hit our cumulative percentage. We've added up to 100. Let's go ahead and check our solutions. Uh oh, we got a mistake someplace, so let's go find out. So this is what I really like about this. So I probably made an error in my adding, I'm guessing. Let's take a look and see. So, um, nope, because those numbers are correct. So let's just take a look one more time. Let's see, 34. I'm going to hit pause for a second. All right, so remember our error is right here at the 34. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to close this screen off, pull my calculator up. And uh, so it's right there at the 34. So let's do 34 divided by 92. We multiply that times 100. And it says, oh, I just, that's 36.95, which would round up to 37. So let's change that to 37. I'll show you that one more time. And I don't know why I rounded up to 40. Okay. And we'll check. Bingo, we got it. All right, so that's one complete process right there. So, you know, that's, you know, basically we're building it up, so now we can answer these questions. All right, we're looking for the 25th percentile. You know, our first actual question here, I'm going to come back up to the top, is part A that said, what's the 25th percentile? What data value would be at this 25th percentile? 
So it's kind of you're thinking about when you think percentile. What you're thinking about here is you're is you're thinking about you know if let's say that your data starts at four thousand point five and it goes to ten thousand point oops that's not quite ten thousand point five and you have these check marks along the way if this is the beginning and this is the end I want to know the number that is about at the 25th percentile so you know where along this path right here if that's 100 percent of the data where along the way would 25 percent be so that's what we're actually looking for right now you know so I mean if we kinda just took a line and drew it it's gonna be somewhere right in here half would be about right there and three quarters would be right there you know or, or so you know get the idea Okay, so that's kind of what we're working on here. We're trying to find out. All right, so let's go back live to this. So it says to do the next step to be able to find the 25th percentile, what I'll do is I determine which set of class boundaries contains the 25th percentile. All right, so I look up here, which set? Oops, I went too far. All right, it looks like to me that the 25th percentile would be between would be right here in the 5,000 to 6,000 because of the fact that we got 37 right here this one only goes to 17 this one goes from 17 to 37 alright so cumulative mean it's building up that means the largest percentage in this one that means 5,000.5 is the 17th percentile whereas that means that from 17 to 37 you're getting everything between 5,000 and 6,000. That's probably the confusing part right here. So, since the cumulative percent of the third class, the third class is 37, so the 25th percentile value is somewhere between 5,000.5 and 6,000.5. Okay, I hit check. We see, yay, we got it right. Okay, so now they say to us at this point, we're going to walk a little bit further. Now, this is a little confusing once the first time you do it, because it's because it doesn't type it in one line. But percentile value is equal to the lower class boundary. So lower class boundary right here, that's going to be your 5,000.5. Your class width, it says plus in parentheses your class width. Your class width is 1,000, because the distance between 5,000 and 6,000 is... 1,000. All right, we look back up here and it says the desired percentage, 25, minus the cumulative percentage of the previous class. Our previous class cumulative percentage was 17. So we're in this class right here. So we got to the previous class, our cumulative percentage was 17. We come back down, we put that same number right there because it says cumulative percentage of the previous, previous class. Alright, so now it's just walking us through some computation. So 25 minus 17. Sorry. 25 minus 17 is 8. And 37 minus 17 is 20. And now we do this computation right here, 1,000 times that. So I actually, what I'll do is I'll actually take, let's move this over a little bit. I'll actually take 8 and divide it by 20, get that answer, and then I'll multiply that by 1,000. So my number that goes right there is 400. So my final answer is 5,400. And you'll notice it says that I'm going to round my answer to the nearest whole number. So um, let me bring my calculator back up. So if I take that plus 5, zero zero point five you'll notice I get fifty four hundred point five well that point five rounds up so that's why I put fifty four oh one I check my solution and bingo I got it so there is my answer right there the twenty fifth percentile value is five thousand four hundred and one so that was actually what part a was looking for Part A was looking for that answer right there, the 5,401. So you can kind of imagine that about right there is going to be the 25th percentile of that data.
All right, so then the process continues. I'm going to stop the video at this point because you just do the same process again and again to complete part B, part C, and part D. All right, please let me know if you have any questions. Once again, this is finding out a data value given a percentile.